Hi everyone and welcome back to Excel with. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Pareto chart in Excel, just like the one we have here. Um, let's get started. So to begin with, uh, a Pareto chart normally is a combination of a bar graph and a line that helps identify the most significant factors in a data set. For example, in this chart, Pareto chart that we did, I did earlier, you got to see we have the bar graphs in blue and the line in orange. So normally the Pareto chart actually goes uh, relies on the 80-20 rule, meaning here where we have the 80%, if we get a line crossing here and another one down here, all the values on the left are going to show you that this is the most significant data set that we actually need. So let's get started and see how we can create one Pareto chart just like this. So first ensure that you've got your data. In this particular example, I've got issue and frequency. The second thing that I'm going to calculate now is um, the percentage. So for this example, we'll need to calculate the percentage as well and the other thing we need to calculate is the cumulative uh, percentage. So these are the two things that we need to, to calculate this. Hold on. That's much better. That, so the first step that we are going to do is sort our data in deciding on order. As we can see already, I, this data is already arranged in a deciding order that is from the highest to the lowest. This is something that you, if your data is arranged in different ways, ensure that's done. The second thing, we are going to change our frequency here into percentage. And the first thing, for us, in order for us to do that, we will just calculate um, the total. We'll just calculate the total frequency first. So to calculate the total, of course, we use the sum formula. And as you can see, our total is 415. Now that we have that done, to calculate the percentage we, we take, we start with the 120 divided by the total and then we'll get zero point this uh, decimal number and then we have to change it into a percentage and we'll get 29 percent so we'll have to do the same we'll just drag all the way to get uh, the rest but as you can see there is an error so what we can do in between in our formula bar in between d Team, we are going to add just um, a dollar sign and once that's done we can come back and drag it again and now we'll have our percentages um, done the next step after this we are now going to calculate the cumulative percentage to calculate the cumulative percentages we are going to start with the first with the first one with the first percentage which is 29% it's going to be uh, the first one so we just have to select it and enter the second one now is going to be um, this 29% we will have the first cumulative percentage uh, plus the second one which is going to give you 49 and we'll have the same 
going down one so drag and drop and to make sure that you to make sure that you have everything right the last cumulative uh, percentage is supposed to be a hundred percent so ensure that's uh, done so now we are done with our table We are done with our table. The second, the next step that you are going to do now is to create. It's to add our chart. In order for us to add our chart, we are going to select issue, frequency, and the cumulative percentage because this is now the data that you are going to use to create our chart. So, select it, and then just skip the percentage and go straight. Uh, hit your control and select the that the cumulative percentage column there we go next step click on insert and then look for object uh, sorry look for your chart in this we are going to insert a, a 2d column chart here we have there we go so as you can see we got our table you can just click on the title to to rename it let's call our chat Pareto chat so once that's done we are going now to change our cumulative percentage into a line so the first we are we are supposed to just click on the our cumulative percentage is the one in in orange so we can enlarge this click on the cumulative percentage and and now change series chart type click on change series chart type once you get this um, we will, because we are now dealing with cumulative percent we want to change it from a clustered column to now a line you can choose any any line let's take the one with line with markers and then we also want to ensure that uh, they are not on the same axis so we are going to change the cumulative percentage into a secondary axis so this is why we have to you have to ensure your secondary axis is ticked. Click on OK. And as you can see, here we've got um, our cumulative percentage and our frequency in blue. But as you can see, it's not fully 100%. As you can see, at the cumulative percent is supposed to be 100%. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on this, right click, and then format your axis. Once you format your axis, just um, ensure that your maximum is only one and then click enter. So as you can see, our now Pareto chart has its now correct its exactly at a hundred percent so this is now how you create a Pareto chart in excel it, it's actually simple all you have to do is to ensure that you have your cumulative percentage right and to a hundred percent